for us last week. Um, you know, was thrilled with the defensive stand on the last possession to beat Georgia, and then just loved our guys' response. Uh, coming off that win, I thought we had two really good days of preparation and then put together a complete performance Saturday in Nashville. I love the unselfishness that we played with. You know, I had five guys in double figures, uh, Hunter Dean right behind them with eight and five in the game. And uh, I thought Trey Hannibal, I don't remember the, the last time uh, someone scored a single point in the game yet had such an impact on winning. So uh, I thought the great defensive effort and certainly something for us to build on as we enter the final week of the regular season. Uh, great challenge at Arkansas on Wednesday. I thought they were awesome on Saturday at Rupp Arena. Uh, scored over 100 points. Uh, battle has been phenomenal. Mark, an elite guard. Uh, Mitchell at the five, averaging 14 and seven over their last five games. Uh, so it'll be a great test for us on Wednesday night. Yeah, Coach, just I mean, big picture. We're talking to a lot of the seniors today. Um, still a couple games left in the regular season. But just what has this senior class kind of meant to you and just how they've helped accelerate the, the rebuild process? Yeah, I'm not trying to pass the question on. I really hadn't put a lot of thought into it. Uh, just been locked in on this Arkansas game. Uh, but we'll, we'll definitely answer that in great detail on, on Thursday or Friday uh, because it's a, a – Obviously, a talented group of players who, who have made a tremendous impact on, on this program. Hey, Coach, you've been with Trey Hannibal for three years now, from Murray State now to here. What did you see in him, I guess, when you first brought him to Murray State? What traits stood out? And I guess, how have you seen him grow the most as a player just since you've been coaching him? Sure. When we recruited Trey at Murray State when he was leaving South Carolina, uh, we were looking to add toughness to our team, and, and he certainly fit that bill. Uh, his physicality and explosiveness on both ends of the floor, uh, his ability to impact winning, uh, and then great credit to him. He's really grown and developed as a point guard this year. His decision making, his ability to get everyone involved in the offense uh, has really been done at an elite level over the last two months. And I've been really proud of him for that. I think he's a guy with his ability to pressure the basketball uh, defensively, has a huge impact there. And for us, where we've struggled some on the defensive glass, uh, he's a big time rebounder at the guard position. Coach, uh, Tyrell took more shots this past game than I think he has all season. Uh, was that something you wanted him to do in this game and do more going forward? Well, Tyrell is one of the best three-point shooters in the league uh, by the numbers in the country. Uh, so I, I thought the guys really moved the ball well. Uh, we were able to get a lot of high-quality looks. We shot it exceptionally well in the first half, not as well in the second. But you know, I, th I thought guys just played the right way, and, and Tyrell took a lot of high-quality shots. and. And we want to get him as many of those type looks as we can. Uh, yeah, just wondering some injury updates on Cook, um, Collins, and Stewart. Any of those guys going to be available this, sure. this game? Sure. Yeah, I'll go through all of, uh, I guess, the four that we have sitting out right now. Uh, Corey Chest uh, is just having a great year. He's added 15 pounds, all muscle. I think he's really taking advantage of this year uh, to keep developing his skill set and learn the system. I've been really proud of him there. Uh, Damian Collins, rehab is on schedule. Uh, coming off the dislocated shoulder, uh, he meets the threshold and all the criteria to, to uh, take a medical red shirt this year. And that will be our intention uh, with Damian, and I think that'll be really good for him. Uh, hopefully get full clearance this spring uh, to return to, to live play. Uh, Carlos Stewart is still uh, sitting out with knee soreness. Uh, I don't anticipate his return this season. Uh, and then as you saw on Saturday, Jalen Cook was 
not with the team at Vanderbilt. Uh, he's currently suspended from the team uh, for a failure to meet the standards that I have in place for the program. Uh, and then just uh, with, with Hunter Dean, um, he made some really timely plays for you guys in the second half in particular. I mean, did you expect that kind of thing from him coming into the year? Because it really seems like he's kind of you know been a, a, a nice bright spot for you guys off the bench in some of those big, uh, big, big man minutes. Yeah, Glenn, he's been awesome. Uh, there's some things, probably some misconceptions with Hunter. Uh, number one, he tested out as the second best athlete in our program. Uh, plays way above the rim, uh, runs the floor, uh, really good in his lateral movement defensively. Uh, then, you know, don't like to throw around the term loosely, but he, he really is a genius on the floor. Like he has unbelievable basketball IQ and ability to process what's going on offensively, defensively, he fixes a lot of our mistakes. And you see with his field goal percentage, just an elite finisher at the rim. And I think he's putting in a lot of work. Uh, you know, got off to a slow start at the free throw line and has really made a lot of progress there. So uh, a lot of fun to coach. You know, midway through the year, we were talking about the fight and the, the pride that you have in continuing. But those were coming in losses. Now that you're getting those victories, I guess, do you still see that sense of, of pride amongst the team for kind of slugging through the season and, and reaping its benefits now? Well, I think that's why we've gotten better as, as the season's gone along. I, I think guys have made a commitment to the toughness that winning requires. Um, I think we've come together as a team. Our chemistry right now is as good as it's been all season uh, by far. Uh, so, you know, I, th I think when you hit some adversity as we did, you know, some tough losses at the buzzer in league play, uh, you know, the character of your people will shine through. And, and I think our players showed what they're about, just kept coming back to practice to work, film study to learn, uh, really committed to getting better and have responded every time. And uh, started to figure out ways to win those one possession games. I think it was three straight wins by, by one point and, and found ways to to win. Uh, sometimes it was a, a great offensive play or, you know, as was the case Tuesday against Georgia, the great defensive stand. So uh, my goal for our team is to stay committed to that process, just to keep getting better. There's still a lot of basketball to be played this year. It's a big week for us. And uh, I expect our guys to come out ready to practice today and, and make some improvement in our team. Coach, I read in one of the LSU magazines coming into the season that when you learned about the SEC preseason poll, you kind of smirked like you knew something that we all did it, that whoever makes that poll did it. Do you think that we're starting to see that, the team that we couldn't see but you knew was always there? I don't know. I, I don't ever look at those things. Um, you know, we got a lot. We, had, we knew coming into the season, you know, we kind of looked at this as year one uh, of our program. Um, just kind of had to throw it together a roster last year and then survive it. Uh, this was the first time we were able to put together a recruiting class. I thought we were able to go out in the transfer portal and add some experience. Um, but you still, there's a lot of unknowns. You know, are you going to be able to, to build that group of talented players into a team? Uh, there have been a lot of ups and downs, uh, but I think we've made great progress there. Uh, we're right here in the battle trying to get into the top half of the SEC standings as we enter the last week of the season, trying to build some momentum going into the SEC tournament. And uh, I think our players deserve a lot of credit for the, the hard work they've put in and the resiliency that they've shown uh, to keep getting better as a team. Your approach has always been about the day or the game in front of you, but you've also said that you do talk, you know, postseason picture with the team. So is this a tricky week? Because like you said, it's a big week. You, you've got a chance to make some moves. Is it tricky for the coach to, to stay, you know, to, to, to get that message across? I, I don't think it is. Every Monday, we kind of just give the state of the union where we're at and, and what we need to get done. And, and as I always tell you, it takes about two minutes and then we're on to Arkansas. And that's where our focus needs to remain. Uh, we've got a group of players that are playing really well together on, on both sides of the ball. Uh, we know it's going to be an incredible test on Wednesday. You know, 
Uh, when you watch that Arkansas Kentucky game, you know that Arkansas looks like a team that that will win games in the NCAA tournament. I mean, it was an unbelievable performance on their part. So, uh, I think our players understand what defense defensive effort will be required this week, uh, and what we'll have to do from an execution standpoint to find a way to win on Wednesday. And I think our players have done a good job of keeping the focus where it needs to be, and I, I expect they'll do the same this week. I mean, you've seen a lot of the year one to year two development with, with guys like Tyrell and Jalen. I was just curious. I mean, I know you have you know a lot of focus on the next two games and certainly with what's coming up. But when, when do you start having conversations with guys about you know coming back for another year or just just that kind of thing? When, what, what kind of conversations do you have? Is, is that something that starts you know kind of putting feelers out now or just how does that go? That's a good question, Glenn. I, I think that's something that all takes place after the season. Uh, you know, really pleased with the growth and development of both Jalen Reed and Tyrell and here in their second season with the program. I think Mike Williams has done great things as a freshman. Uh, so you know, I know everyone gets caught up in the portal world and, you know, it's changing in college sports, but I, I still love the, the old school player development model where you come in and you, you play early in your career and then you, you take a big jump from your first to second year and then you know, you get to the junior, senior year, and if you put in the work and stay committed to that process, you put yourself in position to be an all-conference player and, and open up all those professional opportunities that players come to LSU to pursue. So you know, I think all that's, those type conversations certainly take place after the season. Coach, you talked so highly about Arkansas after that Kentucky game. Do you view them as a bit of a different team than the one that came here that you beat by 21 points in, back in February? I think you have to when you look at what Battle's done over the last three games. I mean, he's taken 49 free throws just in the last three games. I don't know if I've ever seen that before. He's taken 65 free throws in their last five games, You know, averaging 29 a game. Um, I really haven't seen an offensive explosion like that. Uh, since I coached Ja Morant and, and, and back when I was in the same league as Stephen Curry at Davidson. I mean, he's just been phenomenal. Uh, Mark has proven to be an elite guard uh, last year at Houston and then again here at Arkansas. And I mentioned Mitchell's production. They're just scoring the ball at such a high level. Um, you know, games have been high free throw games. They're averaging 30 free throw attempts a game. Their opponent's 35 uh, in the last five games. So. So foul discipline will be important. Um, but I agree with your assessment. I think you have to, you know, that game seems like about two years ago anyway. So we'll, we'll focus on the current roster that they have. Just, I'm just curious about how intentional or, or even now after the fact rewarding is it for you to, to be able to build a roster where you have guys that are mature enough and smart enough to understand what, what they're taking on, but then also talented enough to, to execute and get it kind of turned around. Talking about just kind of the big picture of the SEC season or? No, just, sorry, sorry. Um, just the task that you were handed, right? And sure. To, to get the guys to buy in to do it that were mature enough not to pout or get frustrated, uh, but again, talented enough to be able to, to get out there and execute it. Like, that, that, that seems like a very fine line that you were able to walk. Yeah, I mean, I love our roster. I love the guys we were able to, to bring in this year and, and the five that we returned from last season. I, I've said it before. I think it speaks to who they are, not only as players, but the challenge they're willing to take on to come in and, and be a part of a building process. Um, so you know, we still got a lot of, lot of work to do, uh, but, but I am pleased with the progress that's been made, and, and all that credit goes to the players. You know, when when we lost some of those tough games in the league in January, uh, I think lesser people would have folded. And, and I think just their ability to stay the course and keep coming back to, to get better each day. And it's it's uh, rewarding to get to see them celebrate some of those moments. You know, like I say, there's a lot more work to be done. But the, the Kentucky game at home is something that our players will remember for the rest of their lives. And – you know, at the end of the day, uh, I still think there's great value uh, in those type of moments that you can have uh, playing college basketball. 
Matt, I know you're worried about the players that are here, and but it's late in the season. Is there any chance Cook comes back, or is he done? Uh, we'll just evaluate it day-to-day uh, -day moving forward.